Hello friends, this video on lines and angles part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about adjacent angles. Now what do we mean by adjacent? Even before we talk about adjacent angles, let's first understand what is adjacent. Now what do you see on the screen? We see uh, maybe a restaurant or a dining hall where you have tables and chairs where people can sit and eat or maybe have coffee or something like that. Now, how do you think that adjacent word is related to this restaurant or this dining area? So that's because I would like to give you an example. Now, let us say that you are sitting in this chair and your friend is sitting on this chair. And let's say that this is your brother who is sitting on this chair. Now, where is your brother sitting with respect to you? So this is you. This is your brother and this is your friend. Right? Now when you look at it, you see that you and your friend, you are sitting next to each other. You are sitting beside each other. Right? So both you and your friend are on the same side of the table. Whereas you and your brother are sitting on the other side of the table that is you are sitting opposite to each other right so this is what i'm trying to tell so whenever two persons are sitting next to each other they are said to be adjacent and when two persons are sitting opposite to each other they are said to be sitting opposite to each other so here we are going to talk about the adjacent angles so the word adjacent means next to something whether it is you and your friend sitting next to each other or it is about some angles which are sitting next to each other so two angles just beside each other are termed as adjacent angles now what do we mean by angles beside each other that is what we will understand in the next slide So adjacent angles are those angles having a common vertex and a common arm but no common interior points. Now these are very important. So in order to decide whether two angles are sitting next to each other or not, we will have to check that they should share a common vertex and a common arm. So this would prove that they are actually sitting next to each other. But there is an important criteria that there should be no common interior points so that we know that they are actually sitting next to each other and not within each other. Right? Now let's look at this example. So here let me take examples of these two angles. Let's consider this angle. Let's call this angle 1 and let's call this as angle 2. Yeah. Now if you compare angle 1 and angle 2, so do you think that these angles are located next to each other? Now just by looking at the diagram you should not say that's because here you might easily say that yeah they seem to be located next to each other so they are adjacent. But you will have to follow these criteria to understand that how these criteria prove that the angles are adjacent. Now they share a common vertex. So that common vertex is this. So this is the common vertex that they share. Do you think that they share a common arm? Yes, this is the common arm that they share. So this one is the common arm. So okay, so this proves that they are located next to each other. So do they have common interior points? Now when you talk about angle 1, so which area would be, which, where, where is that location where the interior points would be located? So somewhere in this region, when you talk about angle 2, where would be the interior points located? Somewhere in this region. So do you think that there can be any point which would be common to both 1 and 2? No, because for 1 the region is this. And for two, the region is this. So they will not have any common interior points. So therefore, all the three conditions are satisfied. And this proves that angle one and angle two are adjacent. Now, you might ask that, okay, only with common vertex and common arm, we can see whether they are adjacent or not. So why do we need to have this third criteria that they should not have any common interior points? That is because now let us say if I ask you whether angle one, and this angle 
that is angle 3 let me call this angle 3 so do you think that this angle 1 is adjacent with this angle 3 now here also if you start looking at point by point so this angle that is formed by these two arms this also has the same common vertex now for this angle and this angle you have a common arm that is, that is this arm is common right so first two criteria are getting satisfied but when you look at the third criteria so for angle 3 this entire region would be for the interior points and for angle 1 this region would be for interior points so basically the region interior to angle 1 is also interior to angle 3 so they will have common interior points and that is where we will say that angle 1 and angle 3 are not adjacent angles correct and also looking at this you can see that angle 1 is like a part of angle 3 so basically we can't say that they are sitting next to each other they are not sitting next to each other angle 3 is occupying a huge space out of that a small space is given for angle 1 right so angle 1 is basically sitting in the territory of angle 3 so angle 1 and angle 3 are not adjacent whereas angle 1 and angle 2 they are adjacent so this is where these three conditions help so only when the three conditions satisfy we can say that two angles are adjacent angles so let us take one more example so what do you think these two angles this is 90 degree this is also 90 degrees so now by now we know that these are supplementary angles because their sum is 180 degrees but do you think that they are adjacent yeah, kind of they appear to be because they appear to be sitting next to each other. But let's look at it condition wise. They have a common vertex. So this is the common vertex. Do they have a common arm? Yes, this one is the common arm. What about common interior points? Now for this angle, this region would be the interior region. For this angle, this region would be the interior region. So they cannot have any common interior points. Therefore, we can say that these two angles are also adjacent angles. Now let us look at some of the examples here and let's try to see if these are adjacent or not. So this one, do you think angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent? No. Why? Because they do not satisfy the first criteria. They do not have a common vertex. So no common vertex. Therefore, is this adjacent angle? No. So see for angle 1 the vertex is this. For angle 2 the vertex is this. So they do not have a common vertex. Let's look at the next one. So here what do you think? Are they adjacent angles? Not again. That's because again when you look at angle 1, which is the vertex for angle 1? This is the vertex. Which is the vertex for angle 2? This is the vertex. So again they do not have a common vertex. So therefore here also these are not adjacent angles. And third one, angle 1 and angle 2. What about this? So here we do see a common vertex. So here we have a common vertex. Fine. Do we have a common arm? So for angle 1, what are the two arms? This is one arm, this is another arm. So this is one arm and this is one arm for angle 1. For angle 2, this is one arm and this is one arm. So basically here, we do not have a common arm. So here, no common arm. Therefore, these are also not adjacent angles. But by any chance, if we would have asked if angle 1 and this angle 3, if these are adjacent or not, then definitely they would have been because they would have a common vertex, they would also have a common arm and they also do not have any common interior point. So angle 1 and angle 3 would have been adjacent angles. Anyways, let's look at the fourth one. What do you say? Angle 1 and 2, are they adjacent angles? Not again, because here also if you look at this angle, this is the vertex. You look at this angle, this is the vertex. So they do not have a common vertex. So no common vertex. 
Therefore, these are also not adjacent angles. So you see, looking at the uh, figures, you will have to determine whether they are adjacent or not. So the important thing to remember is these three conditions, common vertex, common arm, no common interior points. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.